Hey, it's Kyle, and today I'll be reviewing Legend by Marie Lu. This is a pretty well-known YA dystopian novel, so I'm sure a lot of you have already heard some things about this book. Um, I found it very interesting. I didn't really know too much about it, except what I'd read on you know, the, the cover of the book, so I went into it not knowing a whole lot about the plot and um, what the book was going to be like. It just sounded like an interesting um, book from what the cover said, so I thought, well, why not read it? Um, if you're not familiar with um, the basic plot ideas behind this book is, is it's set in the future, very similar to the way I would say like, you know, Hunger Games, The Maze Runner, Divergent, um, you know, something's gone wrong, um, some sort of massive worldwide event that's really caused, you know, governments to collapse and things to reorganize. In this book, they keep on making references to floods and stuff like that. So. Perhaps in this book, uh, you know, global warming's had a huge impact, maybe caused the world to um, reorganize itself. Um, but the story in this book is actually set in Los Angeles, and um, it's part of the uh, government called the Republic of the United, sorry, the Republic of America, which is basically the West Coast. They, throughout the book, they kind of make reference to what is part of the Republic of America, and it sounds like everything kind of the Rockies and westward, so like Colorado, Nevada, California, Washington, Oregon, you know, those kind of west coast states and mountain states are in the Republic of America, and they keep on referring to the rest of what we would think of the United States as the colonies. Um, other than the fact that these two groups are at war with each other, they don't really mention a whole lot about the colonies, so you don't know um, um, what exactly the colonies form of government is and stuff like that. Uh, but the Republic is really a dictatorship, and it's been governed by this one gentleman for, I think they make the reference to he's been in control for about 30 or 40 years, um, and as the book goes on and describes the government, it's very much clear, you know, it's a dictator state, it's a police state. Uh, so that kind of gives you a background, you know, much like the Hunger Games or Divergent, you know, Maze Runner, you know, things have gone wrong and it's resulted in a brand new society that is um, very interesting. Uh, the two main characters in this book is June and Day. June is a, a teenage girl around 15, and Day is a teenage boy. Um, I don't know if they ever make an exact reference to his age, but mid-teens. He's not too much. I think he's a little older than June, but not too much older. Uh, June is from a very rich family, a very privileged family, and um, Day is from, from a much more poor part of the Republic. And um, that's one thing this book points out is... Um, it's not quite like Divergent, where there's very ordered classes, um, but this society has formed um, different groups, um, a little bit more broader sector, and it seems to be break, broken down more by wealth than um, exact talents and stuff like that. So there is a very wealthy sector, and then there are kind of, you know, much more poor sector, sectors. Um, a lot like Divergent, the kids in this society are um, required to take a test, and that kind of determines um, what role they'll play in the society. So if you do very well on the test, um, you get to go to a very elite college. If you just do okay, you get to play high school. If you do so-so, you basically are kicked out to the poor sectors, and you have to go straight to work. And if you do really, really bad, they send you to labor camps. And they kind of present that as this, the way that they're, you know, kind of, making sure that the best and the brightest are given all the privileges and stuff. Uh, June is um, a prodigy. She is apparently the first person in the Republic to ever make a perfect score on this test. So she's went through the best college. She's graduated college, you know, as a 15-year-old, several years in advance. And the novel sets up that basically college is almost sounds more like a military call academy than what we would think of as college. So you're basically being trained to be a soldier. Day, on the other hand, um, has referred to him that he actually failed his um, trial, and um, before he went to the labor camps, uh, he basically escaped and um, basically had to live a life of an outlaw. And um, it turns out he's a very talented, bright kid, despite the fact that he thinks he failed the trail trial. And he becomes a thorn in the side of the public. He starts committing these very public um, acts of defiance against their public that really makes him their number one target to arrest, to basically make an example of. And 
that kind of sets up the basic plot of the book, um, which brings June, the very pro-government prodigy, into conflict with the very uh, anti-government prodigy that is Day. And I'm sure if you're very familiar with why dystopian novels, you can probably guess where this plot is going to go. Uh, and that's my one complaint about the book. I really enjoyed it a lot, but I found it very predictable. Like, there's a few, I guess, surprise twists in the book, but every one of the surprise twists, I kind of figured out what the surprise twist was about 50 to 100 pages before it happened, or even farther. So, you know, I mentioned um, the situation behind Day's um, criminal past. Um, fairly early in the book, you know, I kind of figured out, oh, this is what's probably going to happen with that, and sure enough. Same thing with June. Um, a, a big event early in the book really triggers a huge change in June's life. And pretty quickly, I'm like, I'm guessing it's going to go this way, and sure enough, it did that way. And when some characters interact, you kind of predict the way that interaction is going to go. So, um, whereas some of the other great books, like The Hunger Games, Diverge, at the Maze Runner, those I didn't find quite as predictable. So sure, there were some points of those books I was able to predict. For the most part, I was surprised in a lot of the parts of the book. Um, that's the only thing to me that separates Legion from those other three books that I keep on mentioning is it's a little bit more predictable. And it could be because I've now read several books in that genre and it's just harder to become unique and surprising, but I just feel like a legend, it, it, just, it just follows the path a little too closely, you know. Like, um, it's just, at least for me, I just found it a little bit predictable. So where the Hunger Games, the Maze Runner, and Divergent, I would really rank as great books. I would just really rank this as a good book. Still worth the read, um, but it's not one of those, like, I'm clamoring, like, ooh, I really want to see a movie version of this. But it's good enough that I'm going to read the second book in the series. But it's not one that, you know, like, oh, I can't read the second book. It's like, well, I'd like to read it to see where it goes. You know, maybe the second book takes it to a different level and it can reach that level of greatness that the Maze Runner, or Divergent, or the Hunger Games reached. The Legend didn't quite reach, but it's still a very good book. So, you know, if I was ranking it on a, you know, a letter grade scale, you know, this is not an A book. It's probably a, a solid B where, you know, uh, pretty good, but it's not, you know, a great book. So if you're looking for an interesting read, and one thing I'll say, it's a very, very quick read. Um, so if you're looking for a book you can knock off in a day or two, maybe you're going on vacation, you want to take a book with you to the beach or something, something you can read while you're just relaxing and hanging out. Very quick read, very easy read. So in that regards, it's a great little summertime read in my opinion. Um, so if you're looking for another book in this genre, the dystopian Y um, genre, uh, Ike Legends, you know, a good book to go after. If you haven't read The Verge at Maze Runner and Hunger Games yet, I'd recommend reading those before you read Legend. Um, but if you knock those three series out and you're looking for a new series to start, you know, why not give Legend a, a chance? You know, perhaps you'll find it a little bit more surprising than I did, and you'll think it's great, where I, as I just thought it was very good. So that's my review of Legend by Marie Lou. Hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you the next time.